Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. B-Dubs has got a lot of wool. I've got a ton. Look at all this. Look at all this wool. It is for a project. But that project will be next episode. Uh-oh. Time to shreep. Last episode, we worked on this beautiful flowery house. The place where we're going to store all of our flowery stuff. And it's, it's right where it was, where it left off. I've just been working on that wool and stuff. But uh, I'm going to get the interior done. But today, the big things that we're going to do, we're going to put some taller trees. Now, I know you guys said uh, if you want to talk, talk about big tree, you should talk to Iskal. Iskal is working on a very big tree. It's not going to be nearly as tall as that. But it's going to be tall. We're going to do a tall tree. It's going to be pretty cool. A couple of them. I think there would be, you know, I, I, custom trees always just change the landscape. Also, we've got all these hossies out here that just could look kind of strange. So we need to get a place to store them. I think we're going to have a hossie stable somewhere around over there, I think would be really nice. But for right now, I've just got a bunch of uh, cleanup to do. I got some more decorating and stuff that I want to do in front of the flower shop. But, so I'm going to get started on that first and collect a bunch of leaves. And then we going to get building some beautiful big old trees. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That was terrifying. Okay. No, thank you. No, no, no. Let me in. 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 No, doc. No, doc. No, no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't. Don't. This is okay, guys. This is going to be okay. He's covered in strength. Do I have armor on me? I don't. Okay. Hey. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. What do we have here? Tag two. <gasps> Hey, no, no, oh, no, no, I was a tag guy, oh, oh, that was a trick, wasn't it, <gasps> they tricked me, oh, it was a setup, I thought Doc was going to be nice for a second, and then it is set up, well, Doc doesn't like to get his hands dirty, does he, he made False do it for him, False and I are friends, we're good friends and she slay me. Well, she's playing the tag game. So that's what that was about. Oh, that was a, okay. Smart trick. Very smart trick. He got me. He got me. Well, looks like old Doc got his revenge, didn't he? For those of you that don't know, a couple videos ago, a couple weeks ago, Corrales and I accidentally blew up Doc's goat head statue. Ever since then, he's been coming for, our, for my head. But uh, he found an interesting way to do that. So that tag, that name tag that he sent me, or that he threw down, that's actually part of a game that people are doing at Spawn. Whoever holds the tag the longest uh, will eventually win some sort of prize. I had the tag for a second, but uh, false. <laughs> so I guess he knew false wanted it, and he put it on me. I don't know. You'll have to check out their videos to see exactly what went down there. But uh, some weird shenanigans. I can say that. I just think we need to get that goat head fixed. There goes all the cake. We ate it all and it's delicious. Thank you so much, Etho. But uh, yeah, we got to get that goat head fixed. It's uh, it's something that, I, I don't know, maybe he's got his revenge and we're fine. Either way, Corrales and I, we gotta, I got to meet up with him. We got to fix that thing. Uh, but, okay. There's also, uh, I've got a load of sand. So much sand. Holy cow. Look at all this sand. This is super helpful because, uh, well, I've got future plans for all of that. But how did I get this sand? Well, a couple days ago, we were visited by a good friend, Cub Fan. Listen, um, there's certain games happening on the server. Oh, yeah. Are you yes. aware? I'm very aware. Yes, yes, yes. You okay. need me, don't you? I have something very precious that you want. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's standing on these broad, strong shoulders of yours right there. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, using yeah. the Alex skin, so it's actually kind of more narrow shoulders, but yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah skinny, uh, toned. Uh, yeah, very, yeah. that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, so, so you want my head, right? You want my head, Correct. you want to turn it in, you want to get the bounty. I get it, I know. So, mm -hmm. my question to you is because I already did this once before. 
And I got, I got, ooh, you, oh, wow, oh, beautiful. Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, you like, you like it? Yeah, I got the bling on there, the big old, the big ruby in the middle. Ooh, he's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Um, Okay, I've done this, right? I did this, and I, out of it, in exchange, I got over uh, nine stacks of golden carrots. Food, food for a lifetime, pretty much. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's yeah. a good deal. Okay. So, my question right. to you, what do you have to bring to the table? Oh, what do I have to bring to what don't I have to bring to the table, my friend? I mean, look look at me, right? I'm the pharaoh, right? You're the pharaoh. Yes. Come from the, the land of sand. So I got I got a bunch of sand. I don't know if you'd be interested. I mean oh. just, just, just walk walk with me. Walk okay. With me. Ooh, baby. Check, Ooh. check this out. Check I this actually out. need sand desperately. So oh check this out. So Okay. I, I've I've arranged a, a sand spectacle for you. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So, okay. um, basically, in exchange for a huge amount of sand and an mm-hmm. awesome spectacle. Yeah. Would you be willing to give up your head? That that's what I'm asking. A huge amount of sand. Yeah, a huge amount. A huge amount. Yeah. Yes, I a would. Mountain, yes, would. I would okay. actually, because I I'm desperate actually. I. Look at it. Like in here, I wanted to do like a lot of sand. I got one, two, three, four, five pieces here. I'm like, I'm being conservative with it, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm saving yeah. it for concrete and stuff. So yes, yes, I would give it for a huge amount. Yes. Well, I mean, I'll give you the stand first, and then we can then we can get the head. All right. So I mean, okay. just just break break this block here, and then uh, this one right up. here. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. Okay. Why are you standing back? No, no reason. No reason. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, the frames. I can't breathe. Uh, no. I can't breathe. <gasps> break it. Break it. Break it. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I get, I get you out. I get you out. Oh. 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 Okay. oh, that was a spectacle, wasn't uh, yeah. it? There you go. <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh. Wait, so cake. this Take is all cake. mine? That's all yours. Uh, there may, uh, well, I hope you have insurance on this building, uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll, that'll buff out, you know, that, that, that's fine. That should buff right out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that should yeah. be fine. Ooh, that's like a stack is two stacks right there. Oh, yeah, that's like, that's like a free sand <gasps> uh, chimney for you right there, man. The rich sand chimney. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, dude, my inventory is full of sand oh, right yeah. now. Dude, dude, dude! Look, look at this. Mm-hmm. Even more, I actually, accidentally oh picked up all this. Oh my goodness! Oh, okay. Full oh, of sand. yeah. Hey, Full of sand. hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do something. Yeah. Let me do something. I all want right. you to kill me right now. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ouch! B Dubs is Mr. Popular. Have you noticed? Everybody wants a piece of me, huh? My my player head. If you didn't know, there's a there's a game going on. Last episode, Scar and Green, they needed my player head to turn in some points and uh, get get some points because I guess my head there was a bounty on it. Instead of just coming up and trying to slay me, which they they know is impossible, uh, they they you know they offer a little prize, a little prize, and we okay, good. We got a lot. That's nice. We are getting rich off of this. This is pretty amazing. I'm loving it. But I have been collecting loads and loads and loads of Asprusha Reeves. And we got a lot. We got a lot. And I think I got enough, actually. I need almost 20 stacks. We're going to start building some trees back here. Some custom. It's going to change this whole place the way you see it now. Oh, it's going to be way different. Way better. So finally... After a long time, we're all caught up. It's time to start some tree building. Okay, let's take a look at our progress. Oh, I haven't stood back and looked at it yet, but... Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like that. This is what I was talking about. Now, it's no Ishgal tree, right? It's no Ishgal big mammoth tree, but there's no trees that size here. All these trees are just all kind of low. Even the super tall ones, they're like half the size. So I, I think they're like 30, 30 some blocks, maybe. That's nice. That helps. Look at this house now with this in here. Look at that view. Oh, that's a beauty, baby. I like that. So we kind of got, you know, three of them, three big ones here, and then a couple of small boys over here. I think, here's the thing. <laughs> We're kind of digging a little bit of a hole for ourselves with this because these trees, they really stand out on their own. You know, when it's just the trees, or when they're when they're just by themselves, it just looks like they're they're kind of out of nowhere. You know, so we're going to have to kind of pop those in and we're going to have to make some bigger trees as well. So each one of these big ones, about a half hour, uh, a half hour each. So those three trees, hour and a half. Then these three little guys were about, you know, 45 minutes total. So that gives you an idea of, of what I've kind of done to myself. <laughs> It looks nice. It looks real nice, I think. I think it's a it's a great look and it helps a lot, but boy oh boy, to really pull this off, we're going to have to spend a lot of time making trees and that's going to be hard. But we can do it. We can do it. It really adds. And maybe we'll just say that over there, you know, we'll just put a couple other ones and uh we'll say that that's cuz cuz the big trees. Okay, here's an example. These big trees right here. You can make these. You can force these to grow. And they actually look pretty good in comparison to like a custom tree. You can actually just put like a couple of logs down here and beefing up the trunk a little bit. And it looks really good. But those, when you do the two by two pine trees, spruce trees, they look bad. They don't look, they don't look good. So this, this is nice. You can kind of force it with that. But with the, with the spruce trees, you kind of, if you want a nice custom one, you got to do it by hand. Uh, but but it looks good. It looks good. Why why complain, right? We've got a really nice look here, and uh, we kind of worked on the terraforming out here a little bit. Put just some random stuff, some wheat. Just trying to get uh, not all of it's grown, but once it all grows, it'll kind of look good. Trying to get this terrain looking as natural as possible, untouched, you know. Uh, but okay, that's done. I'd I'd like to put a tree here as well, maybe like an oak tree or something. We'll see. But now. We've got to get a place for our horses. These guys, they need... Oh, 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 what is this? Dear Bubbles, I bring lamp. Ooh. <gasps> a lamp. This is going right here. Look at that. Look at that beauty of a chandelier, huh, guys? Oh, Corrales. Oh, thank you so much. We could decorate it up a little bit, but that's going to be beautiful. Are you triggered yet? But look at all this iron, too, and a wither head. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's, I'm th this iron. I am. This is how much iron I have left. 60 and 40. That's it. This is. Look at all this. Three whole stacks of blocks. Oh, we're rich. Boys. Boys. Corrales is such a good friend, isn't he? He's so nice. We're going to have to get in touch with him about fixing that head pretty soon. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I love that. Okay, boys, you want a horse? You want a horse house? I'll make a horse house for you. I'm thinking location-wise, we're going to be over there. So when we first came out to this area, we talked about the river and how it kind of connects all the way out to the ocean area out there. So this is one a horse stable area. If you want people to use horses and stuff through the area, which I would love, then we want to uh, kind of have it near the start. So when people kind of come through, this will be one of the first places they'll, they'll visit. Um, so I'm thinking horse stable around here somewhere, but this terrain is really messed up and I'm thinking of raising it like maybe up to here. We'll see. We'll have to work on some terrain stuff, but I've collected, uh, uh just down in the mines, I've collected a bunch of dirt. So that'll get us going for a little bit. Uh, that'll be great. By the way, this house right here, you guys have been asking for a tutorial on this house. I'm going to have a tutorial for this house ready for you tomorrow. Or the next day. Keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a difficult one to do a tutorial on, but I think we can do it. 
Anyway, now I build this horse barn. Oh man, guys, I may have bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> oh, good job, beat up stupid. Oh, this is uh, gonna be pretty big, I think. But we've raised up this terrain here. We've got th this is going to be. I, I actually tweeted this. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw it. I planned this thing out all in wool before and then just kind of went through and picked some blocks that I felt like would work for uh, the, the, you know, the walls and ceiling and stuff. But now I'm realizing it's really, really big. And you guys need this video today. It's got to go out today. So this may not be completed. But I want to show you the block palette that we're going to go with. It's a wild one. Look at this. Oh, baby. I love this. I think this is going to look so nice. This is light gray terracotta and brown mushroom block. I know it seems crazy, but ooh, it's a beauty. It's so nice. I love it so much. It makes me very, very pleased and very happy. It's a nice one. I think the mix is so good. It's just got this kind of nice brownish tint to it. Uh, that that I think oh it works so nice oh my goodness it's a winner but you know what another thing last episode we talked about over here with this little sand area ooh so the, we I was talking about the gradient just using the colors in the game and somebody mentioned something this is one of those hidden blocks that I didn't really know about check this out guys okay so we just did some things to kind of make it look like it's darker than sand. Just wet, you know. But check this out. This is nice. Take a brown mushroom, a brock. Boom. Boom. And then we'll just silk touch those. And look at that. That actually has almost like a sand texture to it. I think that's better than this. What a great suggestion. You are brilliant. Also, another thing that people were saying is if it rains, this is going to, all this green concrete is going to turn to hardened concrete. I don't think that's true. I don't believe that's the case because we've had some rain and nothing's happened. And in a test world, I tested it. Uh, but anyway, oh, this is a big project. I'm going to get as much done as I can, guys, okay? Oh, I'm going to try my best. Oh, my goodness, I left my bed at the house. What am I doing? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, I can do this before nighttime. So there's something extremely important that we need to do. I'm not going to be able to finish that house today, most likely, because I need to take care of this first. This is the shopping district, and everybody got they shop. Everybody got a shop in place. It's time for us to get a shop in place. There's all of the diamonds. So this is how this works. You pick a spot that you think is pretty, uh, and uh, we need to kind of look at the roads here and how things are laid out. There, This wasn't, like, planned. It's just everybody kind of just builds wherever, I think. There's not really a road system. I mean, I'm on a road right now. I guess there's a road here. <laughs> and then there's some roads that go this way. We need to find a great spot, a great location. Uh, this is cool. But this is all, everybody's shops. I mean, look at all these shops. This could be a cool spot right here. I don't know exactly what that is. It's been hard to keep up with everything. But there's also some room over here. B Dub's gonna have his first shop, and it's gonna be in the. It's got to be in a perfect place. Okay. After looking around for quite a while, I went all the way over there. Oh, I have to tell them I don't have my bed with me. Ah. Okay, you guys are on your own. Uh, I think this is the spot right here. This is really nice. There's a Lytra shop there. There's a glass shop here. And there's some open space here. So I think we're going to grab up this spot right here. Uh, and then we get a 10 by 10 area. So if the road were to continue here, we would get... Okay, it's probably good that we're calling it because... Oh, yeah, oh, oh the server is... Uh, is really struggling it's having a hard time right now but this is our spot okay i'm just kind of putting okay okay all right okay we got it all right <laughs> this is going to be our spot and i think it'll be perfect i'm super excited about it but next episode we're going to get our shop all laid out we'll be able to show you the progress that i made on the 
on the Horsey Stable House. It's going to be awesome. But there's our spot. 10 by 10. There's no center. <laughs> so it's actually 9 by or I mean 9 by 9 would be nice, but uh, there it is. I love it. It's going to be beautiful. Maybe we'll push it back a little bit more, just a little bit further so we're not crowding the road, but I think that'll be really nice. Uh, yeah, look forward to that next episode. It's going to be a good one. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death. Leave a like on this episode for me if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the, in the next episode.